Hello, music lovers. I bought a new guitar. Yes, I bought a new guitar. Um, it's not a Sir. Uh, I have my lovely signature series uh, with Sir that I'm so very proud of and thankful that all you guys dig it too. Um, but I had to buy this guitar. It was one of those situations where I had to do it. Let's check it out. So last year, unfortunately, we lost the greatest rock and roll guitar player, in my opinion, of all time, Eddie Van Halen. I know a lot of people will save somebody else, this, that, and the other. In my opinion, in my opinion only, Eddie Van Halen is the greatest rock and roll guitar player to ever live. Uh, shortly after he passed away, I ordered one of the EVH replica guitars. Um, it came in this week. Thought it'd be cool to document the unboxing and the first reactions. So let's roll it. Alrighty, let's dig in and see what we got. Let's see what's on the menu today. Oh my. No secret that I It's no secret that I enjoy Eddie Van Halen. He is one of my biggest influences of all time. Unfortunately, last year we lost him. It was emotionally uh, heavier than I thought it would be. I I, uh, I know that when you lose your heroes, it's always a big deal, but for some reason this one hit hit at home. So I immediately got on my got on the phone with uh, my friends at American Musical Supply, placed my order for this, and uh, I have to say I have to be fully fully transparent. They said, if you'll do a video, we'll give it to you. I said, I don't want you to give it to me. So I, I, I told them, I said, let me, let me pay for it. It's my hero. I don't want to don't want to get anything for free. Um, maybe that's some kind of really messed up moral high ground, or maybe that's a really good moral high ground. I don't know. But I couldn't do this for free. So no, this is not a paid endorsement. Not endorsed by EVH. I buy all the gear that, like the EVH head and stuff, I buy all that stuff. Um, but I had to purchase this, and right at the top here, got a little doodad. Let's see what she looks like. Okay. No hard shell case. EVH, I will say. Uh, for this amount of money, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do a hard shell case, guys. I'm not nitpicking, but you have to do a case. All right, let's take a look and see what she looks like. How do you not do a case? You know? Maybe I'm spoiled. My guys at Sir and their lovely instruments coming in cases. All righty. There's the neck. I'm super nervous. Like I'm, I'm afraid that with no case, this is going to come out in just 47 pieces. Here we go. And there she is, folks. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Bam. God, this is cool. This is freaking cool. I can't wait to crank it up. Blast some Van Halen riffs. What's the over under that's in tune? That it's in tune, huh? So let's take a look here. My tag says model Frankie, relic. Um, assembly was Jesus and Julia. Wiring was Poncho. I can't read this. Maybe Daniel for setup. Final inspection. Let's just see if it arrives to lovely Tennessee and it's in tune. Does the trim float? Really, it's not in tune. Okay, in four. Not in tune. All right, pause the video. Let's tune her up and go from there, huh? One more time. Bam! Look at that thing. Is that in focus? Are we doing it? I'm not a real good YouTuber. Um, I play live. I don't really YouTube. Let's check that out. Yeah. 
So I'm going to have to get some trucker stickers for this. And I'm going to have to get a quarter. Even if I don't put the quarter under the trim, I'm going to have to get a quarter for it. Yeah, so I bought this. I had to have it. No questions. Let's tune it up and rock it out. Check this bad boy out. It's got the dummy coil right there. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can wire that up to be a functioning net pickup, but why would you? Ed didn't, so I'm not going to. It's not, it doesn't have the quarter right there. It doesn't have the truck, uh, the trucker reflectors on the back. But for all practical purposes, this is a cool, cool guitar. Like I said, it was not given to me. I'm not endorsed in any way by EVH or EVH brand. I am a Sir guy through and through. And you guys probably want to know how it stacks up against my other guitars. Let's talk about that. First of all, when I pulled it out, it did not have a case. Bummer. What are you thinking, EVH? Put a case with this thing. This is too cool. Um, second of all, I got one of the latter ones. I think I was like 80 or 90th in line when I reached out to AMS to order it. Some of the earlier ones had a production malfunction. I think they were driving in these pins uh, too hard and a lot of them were cracking. So if you have one of the earlier versions, check to make sure you don't have any cracking there. This one does not. It is in good shape. Uh, intonation solid. Uh, setup was good. Props to whoever's doing the setups on these. Uh, neck shape feels cool. Um, it feels really small. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I play 24 fret guitars most of the time. Now, let's move on to the direct comparison to my Sirs. In my opinion, John Sirs fret work is, is unmatched. His fret work's immaculate. Um, these frets are good. I think this is a playable guitar. It's really good. I can take it on a gig and go with it. Okay, so build quality. It's not my Sirs. It's not the quality of my Collings 335. It's not the quality of my uh, PRS. That said, it is a strong guitar. Take it out on a gig, rock out, play Eruption for all the folks in the bar, and you will be the coolest guy there, no doubt. The weathering is awesome. I think they did a great job. It does not look like somebody just held a belt sander to it. That's one of my pet peeves with a lot of weathering is it doesn't really look weathered. This looks weathered. Um, the neck, actually, they did a great job of discoloring the neck and making it look played. Um, Tremolo works great. The D tuna works really, really well. I was surprised. We're going to hear that when I blast on some riffs. Um, no quarter, like I said. Uh, that's a Zeppelin reference, isn't it? Yeah, so no quarter there. Um, it's the EVH Floyd Rose. It's got EVH tuners on the back. Um, I'm not used to having uh, a Floyd. I've only got one guitar with a Floyd on it. So the bolts there are kind of like, hey, you know, I'm good kind of weird feeling behind them but but it's all good um looks cool with the uh junk here in the middle uh this bridge pickup sounds awesome i am playing through obviously my eddie van halen 5153 um that's one of the very first ones that they did that was in the first batch of white amps i think it sounds great um i'm using the universal audio ox load box so I don't have speakers, I can wind up the amp. All the effects are coming from the aux. I'm not using anything except a cord straight into the EVH amplifier. I think that's how you're supposed to do it, right? So with that said, I panned the effects and the room mic to the right monitor and the dry guitar to the left monitor. I wanted it to sound like the old Van Halen records. Um, I do have some 90s Van Halen patches, but I didn't really do the 90s thing. This is the retro thing, um, you know, just wanted to go old school with it. This is so freaking cool. If you have a chance to play one of these, play it. If you have a chance to buy one of these, buy it. Like I said, I'm not endorsed by EVH. I, I pay for my, my gear. Um, there's no danger of me leaving uh, Sir because John's guitars are better. Like I, I you know, I, it's 
it's it's a fact. I did a whole episode on endorsements and what that means. Of course, I have signature model gear with Wampler and Sir, but I played Sir guitars long before I had a signature model with those guys. I think John's guitars are awesome. It would be really cool to have John do a Sir like this. And if I'm not mistaken, he might have already done a black and yellow one for Al Estrada. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'll have to check that. Al, if you're watching this video, you do have a black and not black and white. It's a black and yellow, sir. All striped up. Anyways, this is awesome. Uh, pros, I'm going to list some pros. Played great out of the, out of the box. Um, the bridge pickup is one of the finest sounding bridge humbuckers I have ever heard. This bridge humbucker sounds awesome. It sounds like rock and roll. The Floyd Rose was set up really great. The D-Tuna works really awesome. And when you plug into the EVH head, it sounds like Eddie. Like, obviously, I'm not Eddie. I don't sound like Eddie. But you can tell that the fundamental thing is like, it's got the Ed magic, you know. We all worship at that altar. So uh, it's cool to have this. This is a prized piece of my collection. Long live the king. And a couple of cons. Let me throw some cons at you. No trucker stairs. I don't know why that's a big deal. It's really not a big deal. I just expect to see them back there when I flip the guitar over. Um, biggest con, EVH, put this thing in a case. These are cool. Freaking 18, 1900 bucks. Put it in a case. That's my biggest, that's my biggest gripe. Um, other biggest gripe is probably related to that. If it's in a case, it's going to come out. It's going to be a little more in tune. Um, I think it's cool that it came with 9 to 46 strings tuned a half step down. I think that's very cool. And, uh, you know, I think it's awesome that the logo is very subtle and the headstock is Fender-esque. I think the whole guitar is done really well. As far as the, the plain wood on the back, on the inside of the cavity, I would imagine that uh, uh, without seeing Ed's guitar, who knows what, what color this is, this wood. So I don't know if that's an accuracy thing or not. I don't know if all the burns and dings and wear are in the right spots. Uh, I'm not even sure about this plate, these little silver spots. I'm not sure about that. I do know there's a quarter that's supposed to be there that's not there. That said, these are not really gripes. I think the instrument's awesome. Um, that's my fanboy showing. I genuinely uh, think Ed is the greatest of all time. And with that said, I had to buy his guitar. It's a fact. I didn't grow up with Van Halen. I discovered Ed when I was probably 17. Um, I grew up with bluegrass. It was Tony Rice, then Brent Mason, then Eddie Van Halen. But I will say this, without Eddie Van Halen, I would have never started uh, my journey into rock and roll guitar that would have led me to players like Eric Johnson, that would have led me to players like Andy Timmons and Guthrie Govan and John Petrucci and all of my heroes in the rock realms. Um, I would have never pursued the kind of music that I make and I therefore would never have had a relationship with John Sir and the family at Sir and formed my own signature model guitar and I never would have had a signature model uh, pedal. I never would have met Brian Wampler and had a signature model Wampler pedal, signature model Wampler pedal. I owe so much to Eddie Van Halen. So um, here's, here's a few clips, just a couple of Van Halen riffs. Um, I hope you enjoy the way the guitar sounds and this is a super, super cool instrument. Uh, thank you, Ed. Long live the king. That's all I got, baby.
the Van Halen. We'll see y'all next week. If you enjoyed this video and you want more exclusive content, lessons, uh, tablatures, backing tracks, access to my Discord server where we have a great community of guys trading out guitar info and gear and everything, and if you want access to my weekly live Zoom masterclass, then jump over to patreon.com slash andywoodmusic. Thank you for supporting the channel over there, and that's the place where you're going to get all the extra goodies. You want those fractal patches? Got them. You want over 200 videos, lessons, and techniques, and tones? We got it, baby. We got the master classes, got the Discord, got all the goodies. Jump over to patreon.com slash andywoodmusic. For all other inquiries, bookings, show dates, touring, all that good stuff, andywoodmusic.com. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs>